Hey there, superstars. We got a special show for you today. Uh, Lisa Bubari is taking over my Facebook and YouTube. So, Lisa, take it away with Real Talk, Heel Talk, or Heel Talk, Real Talk. I'm getting it all messed up already. <laughs> uh, hello, greetings to all. This is absolutely amazing. Thank you, Manny. You are truly the man I was going to interview you today and things tables turn around. So God bless you. I know it's so good to be here today, isn't it? Oh yes, it's fun, definitely. Technology doesn't always work well for us, right? It's especially <laughs> during times when I need to get interviewed or I'm hosting events. Technology always wants to go play games, but uh, it can't defeat me. I always win somehow, some way. Well, okay. So for all who do not know me, um, this is a, my weekly show, Heel Talk, Real Talk. And today's guest, my special guest, is going to be Manny and none other than Manny Lopez. That's right. So, Maddie, let's get to it because we are already late. Yes, um, Wait, I got about uh, 28 minutes to a hard stop. It. So, we can, let's we get can this rolling. Rock this. We can rock this. So, Maddie, I wanted to introduce you as the man of the hour for someone who I truly look up to you as the go to person for technology, go to person for marketing and network. Please. Uh, share with my audience of uh, what a network of influence is truly about. How did you come about creating it? And who is this the best for? Got it. Okay. So network of influence is um, a group I created. I've been getting asked for years. I have over a thousand clients now since 2011. And I've been asked, hey, Manny, where's your mastermind group? How do I get part of your community? Where do I get to connect with all these superstars you're, you're always hanging out with, right? And then I created a program called From Orphan to CEO. This was back in 2017. I attended an event in Vegas and got wind of this Tom Shoes business model. And I'm like, why can't everybody do this, right? Everybody can go create a program that they get paid for and that could be a way that you can help somebody else that could never pay you for what you do, right? Tom's shoes, that's how they work. Every time you buy a pair of shoes, they give a pair of shoes away, right? Right. And so I thought, hey, I can do that. That's how I can create my project. My students never have to pay me a dime. They can get scholarships, education, resources, and I'll fund it by creating a group, right? A group I've been asked for for years anyway. So. I started December, 2017. I started calling up a bunch of my clients and hey, I'm putting a group together. I want you to be a part of this group. Here's what we're gonna do in this group. And think of it, it's kind of like a PR agency slash mastermind group and we take no splits, right? My goal is just to kind of flood them with opportunities, get them featured in media, get them on stages, get them interviewed and get them just seen, right? A lot of Great entrepreneurs are really good at what they do. A lot of you watching right now, you're exactly. good at what you do. If I put you with in front of 10 people that you could help, man, you're making transformations. But then to go around and promote that service, get other people to know about what that does and what you do, a lot of you aren't doing that. I mean, marketing is a whole nother animal to business. So I kind of take that rein on. I take the thing that's fun for me, marketing, lead gen, automation, systems, technology, Man, I can talk about that all day. And exactly. I help the people that that's out. not what's easy for them. Right. So in order for everyone to have a better understanding of who Manny is and why I adore you, not only I have high regards for you, orphan to CEO, when we say that, would you take a few moments and share where your entire their motivation, inspiration, and vision comes from because Manny was not born as a CEO. We're all in the making of it, right? So if you could just share a little bit of your story, who is Manny? Sure. So uh, 2007, I started working with this company to really start building some foundation somewhere. All the years before that, I've just been hopping around, sales jobs, whatever. But I became a father. I was a year into this new 
journey. And I thought, you know what? I can't keep playing around anymore. I can't keep playing small. I got to really start diving in. I mean, I come from the foster care system. At 18 months, I was just left in a car. Shortly after that experience, I'm bouncing around in foster home to foster home. And what it really took for me was understanding that my life story can be somebody else's survival guide, right? I got a mentor in 2007. He started telling me, Manny, you need to start building your own dream. You need to start being a sponge for knowledge. You should be too blessed to be stressed. Like all of these sayings that I've been embedding my life with is built upon mentorship, entrepreneurship, and faith. And seeing that two out of three of these kids that are aging out of foster care, they're ending up dead, homeless, or in jail. So by implementing these three things, because by the time I was 24, I was homeless twice. I was not implementing those things. I was just like these kids. But now that I'm on the other side of that, I'm a paid consultant to over a thousand brands worldwide, named one of the best by Facebook. I got all these different accolades, award winning, blah, blah, blah. Doesn't matter. What matters is I can take what I have gifted myself and created and have accumulated with what I've been able to do on this planet and learn from to take in providing solutions to what is needed. These students don't need to be dead, homeless, or in jail. These kids can have a mentor, understand entrepreneurship, and own their own business. And that's what I have created with this From Orphan to CEO project is to be that solution. We created a whole educational system behind this that's free to the world. Anybody and everybody can access this and learn how to build their own dream. Thank you. I know it's not easy because there are so many who feel depressed nowadays. They feel down and they say it's easy for you to speak because that's where you are. But I want everyone to have the opportunity to understand that one person in life can make a difference. And I know there was that one person in your life who made a difference and said, look at Les Brown. He comes from the foster care. And that was your pastor, wasn't that? Yeah, so my first mentor, he taught me, Manny, if, if you want to really be successful, you have to follow the footsteps of people who have already done what you're trying to do. You know, you want to become an entrepreneur. Well, he wanted me to become an entrepreneur. I had no idea that was going to be, I thought being a manager was going to be my ultimate goal, right? Let me manage a team. And what ended up happening is I never got that opportunity. And then my mentor goes, Manny, you need to start building your own dream. You can't wait for permission to build someone else's. And so he goes, you should listen to this guy, Les Brown. Look, he's in, he was in foster care just like you. He's adopted. He has all these different challenges. And look, he's filling a stadium of over 80,000 people just to hear him speak. And I was like, wow, it became possible. And that's what these kids need to see. They need to see someone like myself who's been through what they've been through, who's gone through that chaos, who's been on the other side and can say, this is how you do it. And I'm just continuously grabbing all of those different points and stories and testimonials from other people that have gone through similar chaos, who can be another example. And that's what this Manifestation School of Business is. It's literally a platform of stories, platform of real experience. The teachers in our school are people that are CEOs and founders of these companies that are leaders in these industries, right? We've got the founder of the Make-A-Wish Foundation sharing how to build your idea, how to go and serve your way to success, right? Now he's gone and he started another nonprofit to go help kids in foster care, right? The power behind what we are creating is a movement of change, a movement of seeing that these kids have a future if all we did was show them the roadmap. All we had to do was lay it out for them, give it to them in a way that they can consume it. We want these kids to remember facts and figures and play a memory game all day from people that have never even built their own dream. What? That makes no sense. And this is why our kids are failing. Yet we have the ability and the opportunity now to let these kids learn from the palm of their hand, from experts that have already accomplished what is on their dream board. And they're saying, no, it's not this way. You've got to do it like this. You got to serve your way to success. You got to find a mentor. You got to be an entrepreneur and you got to have faith that you're here for more than just paying bills and dying. You have a purpose. Exactly. I had a client uh, yesterday who came in and who signed up to be a part of my elite. And thanks mm. to you, you have showed a system 
for me to utilize, a system for me to work with my clientele. And when he came in, he came in for panic and anxiety. And as we were doing our discovery uh, session, it was when he was 13, he was a part of a gang and he was just a bystander and he was arrested. That shock system from the time that he was 13 years old until today has been with him and he constantly gets his panic and anxiety until I just told him, overcome that so that you can thrive because everything from your past has been a part of you for you. And now he's a business owner, a business leader, and he's, I'm going to bring him a to be a part of your organization to help others because what happens to us if we shift it and realize some things are for us and what we can do with it because your platform that you have created that you also have helped me it's the we heal within the platform so many don't understand it even the phone number the text magic it's all amazing what you create for coaches, entrepreneurs, realtors, uh, healthcare providers, and it doesn't matter because you bring so much. And I know next week you have a uh, network of uh, influence uh, event happening. Yes. So and yeah, that event uh, is really fun. I mean, it's, it's a bunch of entrepreneurs coming together, <laughs> virtual speed networking, a bunch of speakers, coaches, authors, consultants, media, investors, you name it. I mean, it's a, all walks of life. Probably dozens of different industries will be represented. Uh, we've got Kayla Maddox. I literally just got off the phone. What's crazy is that we had all this technical difficulties, right? We couldn't get on the phone for, for 20, 30 minutes. And then Kayla Maddox calls me just a couple of minutes before you send me the link. And he goes, hey, man, you got anything going on? I'm like, well, I'm waiting for an interview to start, but I guess this is the reason why we had to slow it down, right? So we have Kayla Maddox. will be doing an exclusive interview at this hey. you know, live Q&A. Uh, Les Brown's going to be at this event. So we, we're pulling out some big guns for this one. And the whole purpose of it is for me to record it. I record all of the education. I record all of the people we feature, all of the motivation. I mean, everyone I bring on, I'm telling them, hey, Tell me, what would you say to a day one entrepreneur? What would you say to somebody stuck, lost? They don't know what they're doing. They don't even know how to spell the word entrepreneur, which most, most of you watching probably don't know either, right? But at the same time, we need to show these kids what it really takes to build our own dreams. We're all doing it, right? I've got nothing but CEOs and founders in my network. I've got, I mean, we just had... Uh, who had a uh, um, Tim Ballard Operation Underground Railroad? I mean, this guy's oh God, in the White House. He's on the sex trafficking task force for the White House, and he's telling us what we need to know, what we need to be doing for these kids. I don't know if you know this, but here's a crazy statistic. Okay, within 48 hours of a kid aging out of foster care, one in three go missing. 60% of the sex trafficking victims in the United States come from foster care. Right. There is a problem there that is not being addressed. On top of these kids not seeing a future, some of them are actually getting their futures stolen. And that, that has to end. We need to bring awareness. This darkness needs to come to light. And we need to bring solutions, not chaos. Right? My program is solutions based. It's showing these kids, look, you don't have to go wait for permission to build someone else's dream. You can go show up to an event for free. You can go into our platform for free. You can sign up to be a student for free. You can learn from our contributors for free. You can talk about your ideas and look for opportunities for free. You can go look for investors and collaborative opportunities for free. And then you all while you're doing that, you're earning many bucks where you can utilize those to go and join and collaborate with our members. And every single week, almost every single day right now, we are getting new members signing up to say, I will help, I will serve these kids, I will show them what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. And it all starts with you, you showing up to events, you showing up 
to a platform that's on your phone, right? I mean, if you guys text me at this number right here, right? That's my direct line. You guys can ask me anything. You can reach out to me on anything that I'm doing. And if you text the word gifts, it's literally going to send you all kinds of opportunities. It's going to send you my platform and over 20 free gifts that we give you guys completely free. And uh, I know with Lisa, she's got a really awesome opportunity with her community where she can get you guys into our events completely free and all kinds of cool opportunities. So, um, Lisa, how do you go about sharing that with your network? Do they text you as well? Actually, I because I'm going to be part of it uh, next week and all that, I want to invite all my audience in joining in. And all they have to do is uh, just text eight. Uh, just text the word Manny, M-A-N-N-Y, to, that's right, to 818-221-2797, which shows right there. And you can be my guest and come to Manny's event. And by, by that, it automatically puts it in a way that we have been invited through, you have been invited through me. And if you want any membership or anything with Manny, it's, it, you know, Manny is, here's one thing about you, Manny. You are a carte blanche bringing value, value, value. And that is, has been a, a format that I work with my clients. And I want to ask you one question. Other than sure. inviting all my audience and everyone to join uh, Network of Influence and be a part of the influencers that influence others. Lots of influence. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, Manny, what is one book that you would say everyone needs to read? The Bible. Uh, yeah. So well, the funniest thing that, that I see when people go into these motivational books, Think and Grow Rich, all of these other things. Right. Napoleon. If y'all don't know, all of those books are just a remix of Proverbs. I mean, go look at the book of Proverbs in the Bible and you got every motivational book, every page right there. It's, it's all there. It's been there for thousands of years. So for me, I just go to the source, right? I love to just learn from what I, and I've read the Bible front and back when I was a child, my grandmother had me read it. I remember, I remember being like 10 years old, 11 years old, flipping through this late at night, reading like every book one one book every night was kind of the goal and we knocked it out pretty soon but ever since then it's just been like a constant simple truth of knowing when chaos comes how to respond when doubt fills your mind how to respond when you think you're dealing with fear how to negate that so every answer to life is already it's been written. It's down there. Every book you're going to read is going to be some variation of how they've tried to simplify that or translate it or take it into their own context or make it their own special wording. But it's all already there. So the Bible would be my number one choice. Business wise, after that, my favorite business book is Three Feet from Gold with Sharon Lecter and Greg Reed. Really gives you to seeing from people. It's just like manifestation in a book. He went around and he went and interviewed all these people and say, hey, what does it take to be successful? You've actually done it, right? And so you want to see in a book, manifestation, that was, I mean, that's a great way to plug in. And it's from people and brands that are still alive today. You're going to still know about that. You're still doing business with these brands, right? I mean, I think um, Chick-fil-A CEOs uh, interviewed in that book, right? There's, you know, Ugg Boots, right? I mean, there's a lot of big brands that you would know today that you got to hear from us. So it's like a think and grow rich for our, our generation in a sense. So okay. definitely a great book to, to tune into. What is, how do you overcome your challenges uh, other than your faith? And even today, as I was changing the modem and I had to drive about 17 minutes and I am rushing coming through, you know what I said, this is happening for me so that I can manage my stress because I am also too blessed to be stressed. So that in itself became like a mantra for me. And I got here and everything, but the modem was the wrong one. So how do you overcome challenges? How do you center yourself and ground yourself? It's all how you react, 
right? If you react with chaos, you're going to create chaos, right? I, I, and I, this is something I have a challenge with. I'm no perfect person. Everyone be like, Manny, how do you do? You're so amazing. Dad. I'm like, dude, I struggle with this stuff. There's plenty of days Manny is too stressed to be blessed. Okay. It's not always <laughs> sunshines and rainbows, but at the same time, you have to recognize how you react. If I react by laughing at something, and it just becomes funny. It becomes joy, right? If I react with yelling at something and, you know, sliding my hand on a desk, like then everyone's all tense now. Everyone's like, oh, what's going on, right? And the same thing I do with my kids is I recognize and I show them how to react is, you know, hey, you know, your brother frustrates you. How do you react with it? Do you laugh at him when he tries to poke fun at you or when he's trying to, you know, mess with you? Or do you get mad and frustrated and hit them back and da, 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 like, and then you guys just create chaos. How you react to things is how your future is going to be. And it really kind of hit point to me when um, my, my situations, I look back them years back, right? I would be in the schnips, right? I'd be in it right now, like, ah, oh, this is chaos. Oh, how am I going to get through this? And then I look back a year later, two years later, I'm like, oh, that's why I went through that because that's going to totally help with that. And oh man, you okay. Now I wait for these opportunities to bring me chaos. So I'm like, what am I going to be learning from this? How is this going to help me in reacting to something down the road? So I look at everything, just like you're saying, it's happening for me, not to me. And if you can react that way to certain things that happen to you in life, it's really hard not to be too blessed to be stressed because then you're, Everything's a learning experience. Everything you get to be a sponge for knowledge on versus having to look at things as, oh, why is this happening to me? Oh, I wasn't ready. No, no, you don't have to worry about that. Okay. And here's one thing. Let's go back a bit. And I sure. want to ask, what does Manny do daily? What is your daily process other than that beautiful this is that just lights up the world i know i'm gonna, I'm gonna take over les brown's top giggle <laughs> but um <laughs> this you, is my day-to-day -day routine that episode that he did and he was laying in bed and yeah. he was doing mickey mouse and something and literally i just watched it for 20 minutes and i'm going what was that <laughs> Right. I mean, the, the joy can bring people together, right? Uh, yeah, my day just was, his giggle is enough to watch him. Right. I mean, that's the thing. That's, you know, you got to keep it engaging. You got to keep them fun. If you're just boring, you're, then you look boring and you are boring. Right. If you're sad, then everyone else is sad. If you're laughing and having fun, everyone else is laughing and having fun. Right. Exactly. Uh, but my, my daily routine, I wake up without alarm clock. Um, I try to beat the sun. That, that's my goal. Um, wow. I have, I, I wake up to hopefully look over the sun, the, the mountain range, and the sun hasn't arrived, right? If it has, I'm like, oh man, I'm late, right? So I don't have an alarm clock no matter what time I go to sleep. I go to bed at two in the morning and I'm just gonna have that routine of waking up early. Uh, I'll grab my phone as most people do. I'll look at my notifications, see if I'm missing anything. And then I'll go and look at some news articles. I'll scroll through social media until the wife wakes up. Wifey wakes up. Now we've got our morning time because the kids, they're all asleep for, you know, except Ava. Sometimes she'll wake up early, but for the most part, we'll get a couple of hours in the morning to just chit chat, hang out, have tea, talk about the day, whatever it may be. And then by about 10 o'clock, I'm hitting the ground running. I am just constant back to back. I have a calendar. I make sure I'm scheduled out every 40 minutes i'm on a call with somebody or i'm in a meeting or there's something structured and uh by around 6 p.m phones off as much as possible family time till about 9 30 ish then we're going to sleep but that's kind of the day-to-day -day routine is you just cram a certain amount of hours and just go right you can get a lot done if you're efficient with your time and the rest of everything that's redundant i turn it into systems I used to have over $20,000 a month in expenses for my business that now is as little as $34 a month because I now use systems instead of humans. Woo, wifey brought me some, some greatness. Check it out. Yummy. Aw, 
don't know. She didn't want me to show the tacos. <laughs> Those are uh, looking. I got a little. Uh, ooh, nice. Are you? Is she feeding you? I love. Always. You. Yes, she's feeding me all the time. This is why I can stay in front of a computer all day. She's like, just stay in here. I'll feed you. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, she has like a thing around. Well, when she feeds the kids, she's gonna feed me as well. And sometimes I'm available. Sometimes I'm in a meeting. But whatever it happens, she's gonna deliver snacks and teas and zip fizz and you know I, i'm just blessed to have our nuclear family our, our connections of what we're able to do and really showcase that you can build your own dream you can serve your way to success you can help solve a problem in your community at the same time that you can grow your business right a lot of people have this misconception that you got to wait till you've checked off all these boxes before you can go and help people Right. You can do that thing that you've always wanted to do. But truly, you just need the right processes, the right systems and the right connections. And that was my uh, what I wanted to ask you, because so many people in business are in the selling. Uh, it's sell, 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 take, 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 because uh, b due to COVID, everyone has turned into creating a coaching business, a selling business. They're they're selling, they're teaching, they're doing all this. Zoom has been incredible. I wish I bought a stock. But <laughs> how do we bring more value to our audience? How do we bring more value for the p business owners? And what is this? the, the platform that you have created for me at that anyone can go to we heal within and literally in the palm of their hand it's like the whole world is right there right so my saying is always to serve first if you understand the process of sales eight out of ten of the people you're going to do business with it's going to require at least a half dozen connections of value Right. So if you try to just focus on selling on the first contact, you're operating at about a two percent of what's possible in your business. Most entrepreneurs never even go past three connections. They think, oh, I'm bugging them. It's they're not interested. Reality, we're just oversaturated with too many opportunities. We have so much that we're looking at, like, oh, man, how do I choose? Right. We've got this. We got this. Everything's at the palm of our hands. Right. So if you can take a position on teaching. The process of what you get paid for. Remember this, 97 out of 100 people, if you just gave it to them completely free, no matter what you gave them, they would not take action on it. Right. Right. So you can give them your process of what you get paid for. If tell them, hey, give me your cell phone number. I'll give you my process. You don't even have to pay me. Just let me follow up with you to make sure you're getting some results. Right. You can join my case study. So then you follow up with them. Hey, how's it going? Oh, I haven't done anything yet. I didn't take any action. Oh, I didn't know that was going to happen. Hey, let's get on a call. I'll show you how to implement it. You get on a call with 10 people, at least two of them are going to say, can I just hire you to do this for me? I don't have the time to do this. I don't have the skill sets. I, this is easy for you, but this is hard for me. Can I just pay you a couple thousand dollars and you just do it for me? That is how you have success today is you have to surf first. You got to attract people that want what it is that you do and you have a way that they can learn how you do it digitally. That could be as simple as you just record videos. It can be as easy as this. You could just get a piece of paper and write down, okay, step one, do this. Step two, do this. Step three, and then just take a picture of it. And that is your gift to people. Just say, look, I'll give you my step-by-step. -step. What's your cell phone? I'll text you my, my info. And you just text them a picture. I mean, it doesn't take rocket science. It's not, you don't need any crazy systems to share your message. You just need a way to document it, to have it on demand and put it in a way that you can duplicate it to the world forever. Because you remember this, no matter what, even if you're selling to everybody and trying to sell, nine out of 10 people you come across are not gonna do business with you. So why not have a way to serve those people where then you can actually identify who really needs your help? Versus Beautiful. who just needs to know the answer. Beautiful. One thing I adore about Manny is that you share your family. You share your personal life with the people who are part of your 
group, a part of your network. You talk about them because you, you not only you serve others, but you truly serve the ones who are a part of your network with all of you. Yeah. And you have the biggest heart outside of the giggle. You've got the biggest heart. So when we talk about relationships, I see the relationship at home, the way that one time we had a live event, the first live event that I attended to, and you were speaking and Eva just walked up on the stage and the way you turned around and spoke to her and tended to her and she giggled and you introduced her to the event, all the attendees, you won my heart. And I think that's how you treat every single member who is a part of your network. I treat, I mean, I try to keep everybody on the same playing field, right? Unless you've shown me that you have no interest in serving and having gratitude with people that are getting in your community and you just want to take, that's the easy way to get away, right? But at the end of the day, you know, for me, it's, it's, we all have a purpose. We all have a genius within us, right? I'm a genius in certain areas, but my son, who's 11 years old, can run circles around me in all kinds of other areas. My daughter can already run circles around me in certain areas, man. She knows how to get that fingernail polish on point already <laughs> at five years old, right? And so, I mean, I just understand the value of humans. I mean, I don't know. It's, it's a thing that I think if we just show the example more of what's possible and what we can actually do and not just conform to what society says we should do, it's a lot easier for people to see it. Once they see the example, they can emulate it. I just want people to emulate sharing and giving and serving. And for me, by serving, I had no idea this was going to happen. I just, I listened to God. God told me, help the orphans. You have no fear. And I just knew, okay, I had to stop selling. I had to stop. I just started needing to focus on this. And all of a sudden, Ty Lopez automates one app side of my business. I started making these crazy connections out of nowhere. And I'm like, dude, I'm not even trying to sell anything. And people are trying to buy and I'm like, this is crazy. Why? Okay, now let's document this process. Let's see how we can make this duplicatable. Okay, let's share this with the world, right? I mean, for me, I just, I want to see the nine out of 10 people that will never, ever do business with me, regardless of whatever I do, no matter how much follow-up, it's not going to happen. I just want to see them have some value when they've connected with me, whether it's they've been able to just see something, learn something. Maybe they met somebody through my community. Maybe they just had value. Maybe they just laughed because I giggled one time when they were really sad, right? I mean, I don't know. It's just simple things. I can make a post on Facebook and people are like, Manny, I needed this today. This was, I, I see this all the time. Right. And why not help if you can't? I don't get it. I mean, some people are selfish with their help. Like somehow you're going to give it all away and you won't have any more. <laughs> like what? That's crazy. <laughs> well, I know we are running out of time and I want to be uh, cognizant of your time. So not only you are an inspiration, but so many, and you are Mr. System platform creator. You are a creator and systems. Uh, and I'm going to be utilizing what you are teaching for my nonprofit, which is so close to not only foster care, but for the motherless children that we are helping in that area. To close today's, I want to thank you and your faith, what you give, what you share, what you teach with your entire family, but for all of us. And before we go, would you please complete this sentence and say, Manny is. Oh, that's a good one. Manny is blessed too blessed to be stressed. <laughs> Manny is, uh, let's see, I guess that's a good one. Manny's, Manny is, hmm. that's a good one. I don't know. I just keep saying blessed. I blessed. I'm blessed to just have the ability to do what I do, to have a voice, to have the ability to share what I can teach and to be a sponge for knowledge at what I do and have a simple way to get it out there. I mean, it, I can't say anything more than it's just a blessing to be able to have this knowledge at this point in my life. Some people go through 
50, 60 years not knowing the truth, not knowing how to bring joy into their lives. And then they have to learn from a 30 year old kid that learned it 30 years before them, right? And, you know, to me, I see that as a, a super big blessing that I just can't, I can't express enough how, how valuable that is. And as long as I have a way to share it, I am excited to be able to do it. God bless you, Manny. And thank you for being a part of the, today's Heal Talk, Real Talk. And for all of you who are watching, again, if you text 818-221-2797 and put Manny, you will have a direct invitation for next week's uh, influence, uh, Network of Influence uh, event. And for that, I thank you. God bless you all and may the universal light surround you. Thank you, Manny. You're welcome. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from the